Miss Misty and I'm the librarian. I have with me here Avery and we're going to do a little dance to get warmed up, stretched out and get a little exercise. Are you ready? Okay, we're going to dance to head, shoulders, knees and toes. So get up and get stretched. Here we go. Ready? Okay. Do it with me, Avery. Knees and toes, knees and toes, then eyes and ears. such a great job dancing and stretching out. Did you have fun? Yeah? Head, shoulders, knees, and toes is fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so now we're going to take it down and we're going to read one of my favorite books, one of Avery's favorite books, huh? You like Gerald? Mm -hmm. Yes. We're going to read Giraffes Can't Dance. Giraffes Can't Dance is written by Gail Andrea and Guy Parker Riz. Ready? <clears throat> Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. You like Gerald? I do like Gerald. Do you like the fire? Mm, we'll see, we'll see how we feel about them, okay? The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions danced to tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel, and eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. That's not very nice of the lions, huh? Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Poor Gerald. Yeah. 
Then he found a little clearing and looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. There's a cricket. There's a cricket. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Do you like him? Yeah, he's a nice cricket. He is. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. Like to me, it? the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. And then he did a backward somersault and leapt up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing, yes I'm dancing, I am dancing, Gerald cried. Then one by one each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle, we must be in a dream. Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how. But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We can all dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. Did you like hearing about Gerald? Yeah, yeah that's a monkey and that's Gerald. Yep. I hope you enjoyed Giraffes Can't Dance. It's one of our favorite books. And I hope you guys are staying home and staying safe. Good job. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>